Ghosts of Kill. Because I have something worth fighting for. With the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder, the God of Thunder is going to somewhere no one in the Marvel Cinematic Universe has ever gone before. Not even Iron Man, not even the Captain America also. I mean no one. Thor is now the first MCU character to have their very own fourth solo film, such as it marks not just a long evolution of the character, but even possibly a hint of the future. And today we'll talk about some leaks about to be happen in the Thor Love and Thunder. So if you are afraid of spoilers, stay away now. But if you love to discover much and more, stay with the channel for more MCU actions. The Thor Love and Thunder is set to feature the MCU debut God, the God Butcher, a villain who has a pure hatred of gods, the character who is portrayed by the Christian Bell and the good chunk of the promos with the villain's creepy design and his the passion for the killing gods. As there is a plenty of things that have folks excited for the Thor Love and Thunder also. Like the devil of the Natalie Portman, Jenny Frost, or the film purported groundbreaking Quernis. The Chris Hemsworth's titular hero so to get his clothes blast off by the Russell Crowe's Jews. Burying it all in such a way that literally all the women and the girls ride to the next Jews. So faint and fall to the ground. The film proper will show thoughts but during the what appears to be an extensive scene that even feature him fighting in the nude. So lots of exclusive moves coming very soon. The Thor Love and Thunder famously draws from the very popular Mighty Thor comic book storyline by Jason Aaron which introduced Jenny Foster as Thor. Thor has changed so dramatically over the Years and uh, that's why it's been kind of fun and as the character has evolved we really loving it and enjoying it too. As the most interesting part is like the villain looks like a venom type. The creature's design has spider like legs and a white uh, jagged teeth similar to the venom but uh, Jenna Foster's uh, mighty Thor as she shows off the impressive new powers of Mornir to the god thunder was expected really. As that is in the early part of the action, if we talk about the mid scene, there will be some of the new enemy like Hercules, who is supposed to be the son of the Zeus, and we are thinking Gore will be killing the Zeus, where the new fight will begin with the Thor and the Hercules. And lastly, in the ending part, there must be a drawn of the, some blueprint for the next Guardian Galaxy Volume 3, which is the next MCU targeted flame. So guys, uh, lots of things uh, will going to be happen. So first in your seat bell and stay with the channel for more actions. And uh, yeah, that's all from today guys. See you all soon. Till then have fun, good luck and peace.